CCLEX to open this 27th of April, 2022. President Rodrigo Duterte will lead the opening ceremony of the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway, CCLEX, the engineering marvel that has become Cebu's newest icon on April 27, 2022. The Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway Corporation, CCLEC, builder of CCLEX, also announced the T motorcycles with engine displacement of 400 cc will be allowed to pass the expressway by July this year. This move is supported by a resolution passed by the CCLEX Bridge Management Board. Sidewalks for pedestrians and bikers will also be opened in July 2022. The opening of the 8.9km CC Lex will happen on a historic date, the 501st commemoration of Kata Ogun Sa Mactan, or Victory of Mactan, which marks the victory of the Warriors of Mactan under Chieftain Lapu Lapu over the Spanish Armada led by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. We are very happy and honored to have come to this point, opening the biggest infrastructure project in this part of the country," said Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation MPTC Chairman Manuel V. Pagnolinan. We thank President Duterte for honoring us by being part of this historic event. Not far from here, 501 years ago, Cebuanos celebrated a victory in a pitched battle against a superior force. Today, we mark a different milestone, a modern victory, not in arms but of engineering and construction. That give us such a beautiful structure that has now become the icon of Cebu, Pangilinan added. Work on the cc Lex started on July 5, 2018, with ceremonies marking the beginning of the civil works. It is MPTC's first toll road project outside Luzon. cc Lex has a design speed of 60 to 80 km per hour and a navigational clearance height of 52 meters to allow large vessels to pass underneath the bridge. CCLEX will use an all-electronic toll collection system to give more time to motorists to have the RFID stickers installed on their vehicles, cash payments will be accepted in the meantime. The full electronic toll collection will be implemented by June 2022. Our company is happy to complete this project and contribute to the economic development of the Southern Philippines," said MPTC President and CEO Rodrigo Franco. MPTC is the largest toll road concessionaire and operator in the Philippines. Its expansion goal is establishing toll operations in the Visayas. CCLEC is wholly owned subsidiary of MPTC. We are happy to finally announce that motorcycles below 400 cc will be allowed on the CCLEX. This is to make this facility more inclusive and accessible to residents and answer to strong clamor from motorcycle users, said CCLEC President and General Manager Alan Alphen. We encourage motorists to have the CCLEX RFID installed on their vehicles, including motorcycles, in preparation for electronic and automated toll collection by June," Alphen added. The CCLEX Bridge Management Board BMB, composed of CCLEC President and the LGU grantors, passed a resolution in February 2022 to allow motorcycles with engine displacement below 400 cc, particularly 125 cc, to 399 cc, to also use the expressway. The BMB said that motorcycles have become the preferred mode of transportation in Cebu, with the Land Transportation Office LTO, Region 7, recording a total of 433,771 registered motorcycles below 400 cc for the entire island of Cebu in 2020. A study by the University of San Carlos Center for Social Research and Education also found out that motorcycle riders also are willing to pay toll at CCLEX. The resolution also said that CCLEX has a 24 to 7 traffic patrol crew deputized by LTO to enforce traffic laws as well as an emergency team to respond to incidents. 
CCLEC will be announcing soon the opening of the online registration for RFID stickering for motorcycles with 125cc to 399cc engine displacement and when they can start to use the expressway. I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good one, see you on the next, God bless, and bye for now.